right people. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually just watch it in a break. I'm not even gonna lie. Usually it's sound. Meet British chap. Obviously, if you don't know him, that yeah, boy. Obviously, he lived out in New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? Luton fan. But, but I see him. I can see him from here. It's a madness. It's an absolute madness, mate. I'm not even gonna lie. It feels like my other boxing fight. You know what I mean? But I'm not. But, you know. Yes, mate. How are you? What's up, bro? How are you? Here Not he bad. is. Here he is. So welcome back to T Boys TV. I'm here in person with British Chap. His first ever Luton game. How are you feeling, mate? It's literally excited. I, I, there's no other word to describe it. Yep. And it, it could be massive. It could be massive. If... This game. And what a game to pick as well. Yeah, when exactly, you think about it. Exactly. First ever one, mate. It could be. It could be crazy. It could be very let's decisive. Not, yeah. Let's Especially if one, Middlesbrough. Right? drop points but yeah we've, we've, <laughs> the lineup's just come out and um yeah it's, it's an interesting one it's an interesting one so it's Shay, uh, not Shane goal I said already got it wrong um and then the back three is um uh, Potts Bradley and uh, Lockyer uh Kyoso right wing back um who is it left wing back again Bell Bell that's the one and in the midfield it's Snodgrass Campbell and I think Naismith behind, like the other day. And then the front two is Adebayo and Cornick. So, yeah. And then on the bench, we've got one of the uh, young, young goalkeepers. Hopefully it don't come to that where he has to come on, especially in a game like this. Hopefully, I said does well and no injuries, you know. Um, but the, the thing I will say about the bench it is there's no defenders on it. That is the only worry I have. Uh, a lot of good attacking players, but... Yeah, that, that's the only problem I feel. Um, but overall, I think the lineup's good. How, how do you feel about the lineup? I'm nervous because obviously the injuries, it's it's not good enough, especially with our goalkeepers. Like, if we were to get another goalkeeping injury now, like, just imagine that. It would be absolutely catastrophic. So, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I feel like the times that we have had weaker weaker lineups, we actually perform surprisingly. Like, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I'm a bit hit or miss. I'm not really sure. I'm, it's one of those predictions where I'm going to like have to use a bit of a gut feeling. I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. But what I will say is Musgrave's on the bench now. He had a very good game last out, last time out against Blackpool, like a lot of players did, especially attacking Funton three 0 But um, yeah, hopefully I'll, I wouldn't mind seeing him come on and, and do, do something. I think he would in this game. But anyway, score predictions. What are we saying? What are we saying for score predictions? I'm going for a bit of a belter actually. Yeah. Well, Blackpool scored. What well, no, sorry, yes, yeah, six, six against Birmingham. Yep. Six goals. Yep. And if we look at how shaky, not maybe not shaky, but somewhat makeshift we are at the moment defensively, well just generally, I guess, with lineups, I think we will concede. So I'm going with I think being as this is a huge game, and yep. if we win it obviously potentially playoffs guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I can see them scoring at least one or two, so I'm going to have to go with a 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. It has to be a win on my first game. Come on. It has yeah, to be a win. Yeah, no, no, hopefully. Hopefully it is. As for my prediction, obviously the reverse fixture was 3-0. Uh, pretty comfortable, if I'm being honest, in that game. This game, like mentioned there, they did score six in their last game uh, against Birmingham. They have a lot of confidence for that. Shout out all the Blackpool fans going. Uh, by the way, 750. You know, they had to get up really early in the morning. It's a fair play to them there. But as for my score prediction, I reckon we'll score three as well. Sticking by what I've stuck with on the hat show yesterday, free won the town. Come on, the town. Come on. Today's view, people, a bit different. Usually, obviously, I'm like down there where them people are now, them two people. But uh, yeah, not bad view, not bad view today. A few poles in the way, but not overly bad. British chap, mate, he is down there. He is, let me try and point, he's there. So there he is. But, uh, right, so I'm here with my auntie. Obviously, she's been on a few vlogs. Cardiff, Hull, they're ones I can think of. Obviously, it could be a massive game for Luton, especially if Middlesbrough you know, drop points, like we said. Taking on Blackpool today, we got an emphatic win against Birmingham. But for me, yeah, it's a good win, but Birmingham are in problems all around the club. You know what I mean? This is going to be different. You know, it's that, it's that Luton, a lot more confident when we're at home. But how are you feeling going into this one? I'm a bit nervous. Um, yeah. 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 It, it goes back to what I said earlier. You know, the problem is we got no defenders on the bench, so hopefully no one gets injured defensively. Um, obviously, we've got a youngster on the, on the uh, bench as well, young goalkeeper. Hopefully, they don't come to that. Currently, clapping Eisted. You know what I'm saying? 
he's had two good performances when he's had to come in recently. But uh, yeah, my score prediction is 3-1. How do you see this one going? Um, I'd say I'm really nervous. Uh, I'm going to say 2-1 Luke. 2-1 Luke. Come on, Luke. Penalty to give away, weren't it? Yeah, well, I was very confident. But we'll see what they can do from this. Hopefully, I don't score. Hopefully, I step pulls off the save. What they missed, here we go. Taking it. I said went the wrong way, but didn't. I mean, the right way, but didn't quite get to it. One one. Four penalty to give away. Substitutions for something for Luke. Bradley will come off. Obviously, went down in the first. Well, it's limited. And then he went down again. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. We just came back today after getting his suspension and we need him. Let's be serious. That's a must way for one happy to see that one. So the box is on. The lounge is on. So that means later on we're going to see that um, left, left centre back roll and then um, lounge will go into midfield. So um, hopefully the lounge will go and get the ball for one. And I'll it's coming off. It looks like Trivo, um, like I said earlier, it's good to see him. One thing I said earlier, I said it's good to see Trivo back. Um, I'm surprised how the day he won't come off, though. He looks proper tired, and he has for most of this game. Oh, I know he got goal, but deflection over to him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah.
shouldn't even still be on the pitch. This is tired, you can see it. Oh my god, it must go well. He scored. You lot know I wanted him to score. So here we are, you know what I'm saying, full time, came across Dan again, mate. 1-1 one, one draw, could have been worse, but it wasn't great. What did, you, what did you make of the game as a whole? Your first ever game as well? Excuse me, I'm glad that my first game wasn't a win, but... Yeah. I oh, should have won it, we should have won it, we deserved to win it. So it's one of those things that like, even with the injuries and you're thinking like, it's crazy, like how makeshift our squad is at the moment. You yeah. get a point, like it's still a positive, but then you're thinking like, that could have been the game. To get us playoffs, so yeah, exactly. I, know, I guess we'll just have to see how Fulham goes. All I have to say really is we deserve to win that, and the referee was horrible. That's yeah, the referee really. was horrible. I did actually say to you before the game. Obviously, he was the last time his referee for us was when we took the uh, derby defeat yeah. to them guys. You know what I mean? I'm not even going <laughs> to mention their name, but yeah, I, just, I don't think it was an overly great performance from us. The referee was poor as well. Uh, gutted that Musgrave's goal at the end didn't count. You know, especially wages, especially if me wanted yeah, loads of us did don't worry about that. But it's just it's just one of them. But you also gotta look at like that mentioned there, you know, the the injuries and that sort of thing as well. Um it's good to see the pots was alright though in the yeah. end. Because boy Although Bradley Bradley's off, so another injury at a bayo went off. Yeah. What else? Do we have any other injuries there? I think that was it. Um no, I think that was it, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, but, starting to play Gus. I think, yeah, I think Elijah might be alright. Bradley, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But fingers crossed we have enough yeah. to sort of get us into those positions. Yeah, no, definitely. But it's a tough one to swallow. Yeah, no, most definitely. But at least at least it wasn't a loss for your oh, yeah. first game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could have been that a lot. That would have been horrible. <laughs> <laughs> would have been good. But, yeah, it's frustrating as well. You also look at, you know, what we're trying to go for and they're just you know, they're just there, they're, they're just sound. You know, they're not going down, they're not going up. But yeah. it's what it is. It's what it is. Move on to Fulham. We'll take it. And hopefully by then might have some more players back as well because it's quite a while away now. Um, 100%. So, yeah, there you go. But cheers for coming on, mate. All cheers good. for coming on the vlog. And, uh, yeah, as, as I said earlier, I'll put his link in that in the description. So if you want to follow him, or, you know, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't already, yeah, boys and girls, I don't know what you're doing. And we'll get a reaction at some point. There you go. There you go. Like, yeah. So, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll get more into it on the loot show, my dad. But there you go. Until next time, take care. Peace.